Dear colleagues, this is a pre-intumescent cataract. What I mean by pre-intumescent cataract is, there is increased convexity of the anterior capsule, there are radial visible water clips, but intralenticular pressure is not raised and there will be no leakage of fluid on puncture of the anterior capsule. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. By this time, all the incisions have been made. Now, I am going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. Underneath this air bubble, the dye is sprayed on all parts of the capsule. And after 5-6 seconds, the dye is washed out. There is uniform staining of the anterior capsule within this very short time, about 7-8 seconds. And now, viscoelastic substance is being used and it is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Yes, I don't use sodium hyaluronate. I'm not against it, but I don't use it. And now, just after puncturing or uh, incising the anterior capsule, I see that there is no leakage of fluid, indicating that intralenticular pressure is not raised and I am planning a rexis of adequate size at on go. This is not a large rexis because there is some convexity of the anterior capsule. So this is about a 5 millimeter rexis. Now the cataract in this case is not soft. It is grade 3 plus or grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. So, nucleus management is going to take some time. Now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The machine being used is Oatly Cataracts 3. Here it is. After cleaning the superficial cortical matter, the tip is buried and it goes towards the opposite equator for some distance and it is and the nucleus is chopped. Since the FACO tip moves through the nucleus for some distance, I call it submarine chop. The nucleus is being chopped and each nuclear fragment is emulsified. Faco power used in this case is 65%. Fluorate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. That's it. Nucleus is managed. And now there is a lot of cortex in this case. And I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula to remove this cortex. You can use bimanual irrigation aspiration or a coaxial aspiration. Whatever you are used to, you can use that. So after cortical cleanup, in this case, I'm going to implant a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens under irrigation which means the antechamber is kept formed by irrigation here it is the AC is formed by kept formed by irrigation and the lens is implanted in the capsular bag this is sensor single piece intraocular lens This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now, 
the side ports are hydrated and after hydrating the side ports a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done at this time I use balanced salt solution BSS yes and the lens is dialed a bit the bag is also irrigated and finally after forming the antechamber the case is concluded hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills thank you very much for watching